Hey there YouTube, it's Amateur Dabbler here. It is Saturday afternoon. Hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. Uh, I know I am. Uh, coming at you today with uh, another recipe. Uh, this one is not a traditional recipe per se, as we are going to be cooking for my dog today. So uh, around a year ago we started making uh, basically homemade dog food for my dog. I think she's all that much healthier for her. Uh, we have a uh, six pound a Maltese who is 10 years old. So obviously this recipe is for a small breed dog. Uh, the, the, the portions obviously can be adjusted accordingly. Uh, we give her uh, one cup uh, per day. Um, however, she only eats once a day. So I knocked that down to three quarters. And the reason I do that is because my wife is constantly sneaking her treats. And with all the treats that she has throughout the day, uh, it makes up to the equivalent of about one cup. So uh, we give her three quarters of a cup of this at night and, uh, you know, some treats throughout the day. You could just check online to see what the portions would be for your size dog. Uh, but if you have something around a five or six pound dog, it's going to be one cup of this per day. So let me go ahead and get the camera adjusted and we'll put this together and it'll come together uh, rather quickly here. Okay, so what you are looking at here is uh, one pound of uh, chicken livers, which I've just put in a pot, covered with water, uh, brought up to a boil, and then simmered for around 20 minutes covered. I put a lid on it, simmered for 20 minutes covered, basically while I was cooking the rice. And I've just gone ahead and run my knife through this and gave it a quick chop. And uh, we'll just go ahead now and put this rice, or I'm sorry, put this, the chicken livers, and that's one pound, I don't know if I said that, one pound of chicken livers into a large mixing bowl. Now you can use any kind of protein in this. Uh, it really just depends on what you're feeling that day. Sometimes I use uh, lean ground beef, sometimes I use ground turkey, sometimes I get chicken gizzards, uh, sometimes I buy, if it's on sale, chicken cutlets and or chicken fingers and just uh, boil those. Uh, it really just depends on what you're feeling that day, uh, but it could be really any kind of a uh, you know animal protein so we got one pound of roughly chopped chicken gizzards in there and then to that we are going to go uh, with around two cups of cooked white rice now dogs have a different kind of digestive system than humans so you want to make sure you're not using brown rice or wild rice uh, you want the, the white rice because uh, it's easily digestible and uh, their digestive tract is very, very short. Uh, that's what allows them to eat uh, food, which is, uh, you know, turned and everything when out there in the wild, a little bit, you know, kind of not rotten, but rotting. Um, and they are not really able to digest brown or wild rice that good. Not saying that they can't, uh, but it's just better to give them the white rice. And then I, I get any kind of frozen vegetable that I see that's on sale. Today she's getting... Uh, some broccoli cuts, these were like a dollar. Uh, you use cauliflower, buy the mixed vegetables. Really the only vegetable you want to stay away from uh, for dogs is uh, corn and onions. You don't want to make sure you give them any of that. So I, what I do is, uh, this is a steamer bag that goes in a microwave. I cook that for half the recommended time. So that's going to go in. Next up, uh, I always put some kind of a bean. So kidney beans, uh, you try beans. Today we're using garbanzo or chickpeas. I don't rinse these, however, I do dump the uh, I do dump the um, water off through a strainer, and uh, in goes there. But like I said, you could really use any kind of bean that you want there. And then uh, next up, uh, I always put some kind of a fish, so she gets some nice omega three uh, fatty acids, which are good for her heart, her brain and uh, skin and everything so today I just get mackerel but you could use sardines you could use tuna fish you could use salmon uh, really and it doesn't have to be canned you can get fresh if you want so that's just gonna go right in and that's uh, basically just gonna break up inside of there and that's really it I mean that's the only ingredients and the only other thing that I add is uh, I do add calcium now if you want to boil down some some chicken and boil down the bones so much that they basically disintegrate and you could blend it up in here. You don't have to worry about the calcium. Uh, but dogs do need uh, calcium. So to something this large, I just grind up in my spice grinder uh, some calcium pills over the counter that I get from the grocery store. Uh, I put a tablespoon, I just sprinkle it right over the top. 
But basically this is going to give her the calcium that is needed that she's missing because we are not adding any bone or bone meal to this. And then it's just a matter of uh, just mixing this up. I like to just chop up the, the fish here, get it nice and flaky before I start mixing. And then uh, I'm just going to mix everything together. Just make sure everything is incorporated fully. I do see a couple large, really large pieces of broccoli in here. I'll probably go back in just with a paring knife like here and just uh, cut that up into smaller bites. And then all I'm going to do is grab a three quarter cup measuring cup and uh, just one of these uh, one of these plastic baggies and uh, I go ahead and portion this out, seven portions. You don't have to worry about um, the food going bad in your fridge for the dog. Once again, they have different digestive systems than we do um, and they're able to eat food that's in the fridge for up to seven days. I don't go past seven days. So this is going to be, this is going to make more than seven, um, seven dishes for her. So anything extra I will just freeze and then, um, you know, next week comes around I'll make up another batch and I'll pull out, once I have seven in the freezer of subsequent batches, I just pull those out and I don't have to worry about making anything for a week because uh, I already have it in the freezer. So, uh, simple process and just get your baggie. I grab a three quarter cup measure and I pack it. And then I go right into the baggie. I just fold them up, seal them, and they go and I got a loaf pan that I keep in the fridge. And I just store all seven of them uh, in a loaf pan for her for the week. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching. Like I said, this is a, a simple recipe to, uh, you know, be confident that you're giving your, your dog uh, healthy, nutritious food. And like I said, there are so many combinations that you could use uh, with the different kinds of vegetables and the meats that go in here. Um, you could really change it up and give your dog some variety, which I like to do. Uh, I like to give her something different each week. And, uh, you know, I think think she, she, she likes that. So, you know, give it a try. Uh, see if it helps. Like I said, you'll have to look up the information on the internet to see how much of a portion you need to give to your specific uh, dog. Obviously, this is not for large breed dogs. Uh, however, you could uh, scale this up, I guess, and give it to something like a German Shepherd or a uh, Lab a Golden Retriever, something like that. But this one's for small dogs. So thanks for watching. Uh, give it a try. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have a great weekend and uh, hope to see you next time.